Up to the workshop commenced today with the presentation of Diagnostic Network Optimization Result with key discussions from the seven provincial health authorities' chief executive officers, implementing partners' major sponsor, which is U.S. aid and key government stakeholders. The country representative of Family Health Internation 360, Dr. Porwan Temu, explained the importance of the project. Initially focused around HIV, TB, and COVID samples, um, how patients you know, go to a health facility, how they get tested, where the samples go uh, to get uh, uh, you know, final testing, and how the results come back. Um, and so that was really the focus, was to understand how that works. He said data is then used to determine a better way on how to improve the work that they do. The most important thing that we found uh, through the survey was basically just the understanding of how samples are moved across the country. And one of the surprising things is that a lot of the samples are actually transported by healthcare workers. Um, so it's no, there's no formal systems to actually move samples from where they're collected by the healthcare worker to the labs. Um, it's a lot of the healthcare workers that are you know, having to do this work on their own, you know, spend their own money to do this. Um, and so it's really about finding how do we uh, support healthcare workers. The other side of it is that a lot of it is also patients that are referred. So rather than have the sample collected at a, at a, at a clinic and then the sample go to the lab, the patient themselves actually asked to go to the lab. The country representative further added that the findings will help them improve the diagnostic network. You know, outcomes of the project, and we're already starting to see this, is that you know these this this modeling that was done has given um, us uh, plans that can be implemented to improve the diagnostic network. Um, what we are hoping to see is that these plans now become part of the PHAs, the Provincial Health Authorities' plans on how they are going to improve their systems. Acting Health Office Director from USAID, Lisa Kramer said this is part of U.S. government partnership with PNG government in providing funding and technical support. Diagnostic network uh, was understood to be a critical uh, part of the need to better understand diagnostics and better provide diagnostics to the people of Papua New Guinea. Estagane, National MTV News.